What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty juice and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC, and today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please understand this will not apply to every single Scorpio, as every single Scorpio is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Scorpio energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you guys with my Light Sears Tarot deck. Okay, for more content or a more personal video, all of my information will be in the description box below. And without further ado, Scorpio, I'm talking to you. You're in denial about something. I see you really just not um, wanting to accept, being resistant to, not really accepting something for what it is. Um, yeah, resistance. I just get pure resistance. Just being in denial, not really allowing something to take its course. I feel like electricity is, is mixing with air. And I really don't know what happens when that happens, but something is happening. Um, I just feel like just something right now. There's a delay, like, okay, there's denial, there's delay, there's resistance. It's like, I'm just like kind of stuck, like, like, I can't really pick up on what's going on. I feel like you're having a slow moment. Like you all might be slow a little bit. You know, Scorpios can be a little slow sometimes. Like they really can. I mean, it is what it is. Scorpios, I'm always biased towards you all, but I don't care because I tell you the truth. Like I love you enough to tell you the truth, whether you like me or not. And it seems like the more... Um, negative I am the more you all like me but the more I try to be a better person you all just don't like me so you know what fuck you okay you don't live you're over you're you're living above your means that's your problem you want to be seen stop trying to live above your means stop being so worried about what other people are saying that's why you 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 all are the type of people that both that you all are the type of people that really care how people feel. I don't, I really don't. You the type of people that would be okay. You, you be mad for somebody to tell you about yourself. You know, you be mad for somebody to tell you about yourself, but you want somebody to be honest with you, but you'll be mad at the motherfucker to tell you that. Stuck in the past, just like being in the past, in the past, um, you're stuck there. Like you're, you're, you're stuck. It could be something from childhood. It could be, you know, in your younger years, something must have happened with a romantic person or something happened with a romantic relationship. You know, I feel like maybe you you try to live above your means and make things, things seem one way. And now you're just kind of stuck there. But I feel like there might be a new romantic cycle for you or you're thinking about your past relationship. Possibly thinking about a past relationship or is something that has to do with your childhood or a past relationship, but I'm picking up like childhood. Somebody you knew from way back when. It's like you're trying to find enlightenment. You're trying to make sense of this situation. You're trying to understand what's going on. And it's like something is going on right in front of you and you just, you're not getting it. You know, and I feel like because you're slightly slow, um, and I say that in, in the best way possible, it's just kind of like you all are, and it's like, 
it's like you all are just in denial about the obvious, I want to say, but you're stuck on a past relationship or there's something about a relationship here, not manifesting properly. You know what I'm saying? Being able to manifest and you're resistant to something. I see like resistance, you know, not really bringing it to fruition what it is that you wanted or what you thought you wanted. Because I feel like you're in sharp denial here. And there's, like I said, there's denial, there's delay. You know, you're not living the way you want to live or you're not living the way you're presenting yourself. And, and being stuck in the past due to a relationship, now you're finding enlightenment within yourself, but you still, I feel like stuck in your old ways. This is that relationship I was just talking about. You know, this is that relationship that I was just talking about. It's like, there's a fantasy relationship I feel like you're thinking about, Scorpio. There's this relationship that got you in your head and it's like you're looking, but you're not touching. That's a Scorpio. A Scorpio will look, but won't touch. He may not touch. They do be wanting to touch you, but it's like they're the ones that they're going to look, but the fixed side to them is probably not going to touch. It's like, I got you under my, I got you under my eye. Like I can guide you or I can manipulate you with just looking in my eyes. Like I control your movement by just you looking me in my eye or something like that. But, you know, what people don't realize is that with all of that is like this slowness. See, slow, um, not being able to catch up, just not having enough speed. You know, just not having enough speed. And I feel like you're good sexually, but with certain common sense things, it's just like you lack. I feel like, not saying that you lack positive sense or sense, but it's like, it's like you all, you all do things in life, but I wouldn't say you're the smartest out of the Zodiac. But something is going to go in favor for you. Um, but it's toxic. I, I, um, the relationship that you're attached to or was is toxic. But something's going to go in favor about this toxicity. <laughs> the, only, the only sign I know could sting their own self and, and still be okay can sting your own self and still be okay. Excuse me for um, me patting my hair. Maybe some of y'all patting y'all hair. I don't know. His hair wild. His hair is definitely wild. But yeah, y'all connected to a negative energy. They look cool on the outside with this king of swords. They look good on the outside, but on the inside, ooh, they're toxic. And this is a baby mother or a baby father. You cool or given the impression of and your baby mama or baby daddy is false. You're true, they're false. <laughs> you both false. Crazy asses. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me get out of here.